food right there, guys. A micro minnow. Oh my god. Look, welcome back or welcome to the channel. So on today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to fish any bridge in the world as long as it's not, you know, big uh, single columns. So this is the bridge we got here today. You know, there's a deep side over here and we got the shallow side over here. We're going to start on the shallow side and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on and how you can replicate this on any body of water, no matter where you are in the country. Now I've been fishing bridges pretty much my entire life, you know, and today we know we're not, we don't have live scope, no nothing like that. We got traditional 2D sonar up front. I'm going to show you exactly what to look for and how to capitalize on it. So stay tuned, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below what you want to learn crappy fishing and I'll try to make a video about it. All right, so pretty much right now we are pulling up into this bridge. I got the trolling motor on one because I don't want to miss anything on this 2D sonar. And what I'm looking for is something to give me an indication of what depth to fish. So we've got one fish at four to five feet and we've got a school of bait, maybe a couple of fish in there at six feet. So that kind of gives me a, a indication of what maybe we need to be doing. So now this is, this is dummy proof. Anybody can do this. It don't matter if you know how to fish, you don't know how to fish, you ever caught a crappie in your life. Four to five feet, 2D, show the fish. So we're gonna throw out four to five feet. All right, we're gonna put our line right here. I'm using a micro minnow, 164 ounce jig head, crappymanjigs.com, you can get a whole set for 20 bucks. So here's a school of fish right here, four to six feet. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the wind push me back. Or I can use a trolling motor on one, as slow as you can get it. And we're gonna troll around this bridge. <clears throat> so right now I'm waiting on the wind to pick up and start pushing me back. Now see, we've got fish from two feet to four feet. Just cause it's a straight line that we're not moving. So those are fish right up under us. So all I've used the trolling motor for right now, I've let the wind push me back. I've used the trolling motor to keep the boat straight. And we're not doing anything with our rod, just keeping your lure in the water. We're just waiting. The fish is gonna catch itself. So we're gonna move our rod over here, get a little bit closer to the bridge. You'll see we got fish from two to six feet. And we cast it out with us trolling that jig's gonna rise a little bit. We should be at the perfect depth. <laughs> Excuse me. Now whether or not they want the jig coming this way or this way, that's what we gotta figure out. So we're just trolling, trolling, trolling. Just gonna let it keep on rolling. And right before we get to the out here in the sun. We're gonna kick it forward and go back the other way. All right, so now we're gonna kick it forward and we're gonna start trolling this way. I'm gonna wind up just a little bit of line so it's a different presentation. And now we go this way, trying to stay, you know, adjacent to these bridge pillars, but also watching the 2D to see, you know, where the fish are. So we're just gonna come through here. We're gonna kick the trolling motor on and off. Just trying to, I don't even know how fast we're going. It says zero, zero, zero point fifty is how fast we're going. So we're just slowly just trolling on through here. I mean, this takes absolutely no skill. Uh, you can do it with minnows, jigs, whatever. 
But we're gonna go back and forth. If we don't get a bite, then we're gonna go hit the other ones. This is a surefire way if you, you know, have a hard time detecting a bite. I mean, if they hit it and you're going 0 0.50, 0 0.60, normally they'll catch their cell. So we didn't get a bite that time. So we're gonna swing around and then you just keep your jig in the water. Just go as slow as you possibly can. We're gonna swing around this column right here. And then we're gonna go up the other side and then we'll swing around and go up that side. Food right there, guys, the micro minnow. Oh my God, look at that fish. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a damn stud right there, guys. We trolled right around this bridge pillar right here on the last one, and he knocked the fire out of it. Micro minnow, 1.2 inch, catching an absolute giant for this time of year. That's probably a pound and a half. Probably 13, 14 inch fish. That's a dang stud right there, guys. Oh, we done hooked ourselves. Well, figure that out in a second. Get him in the live well. Sir, that was a nice fish. And I mean, he caught himself. It wasn't no, no fancy stuff, no fancy electronics, no nothing. I figured out by looking at my 2D sonar what depth the fish looked like they were at. Now you may be seeing anything on 2D, you know, but if it looks, you know, like a fish, try to put your jig in kind of that general area so now we're gonna cast it out about the same depth that one was and we're gonna go right back through here see if we can't pick up another one oh there's spaghetti lines right here guys i'm gonna drop straight on their head see what happens see right here on the on the 2d straight spaghetti line look like dang stripers which i mean it could be baby stripers i guess yeah, there they are right there and they're not very deep so we're just gonna let the boat take us through them as long as that jig's following that trolling motor there we go a uh, school of bluegill I don't think it's a school of bluegill. I ain't never seen a school of bluegill like that. Let's get it back out there. Let the wind push us on through. There he is. <laughs> nice keeper. So now, I gotta get the fish off. What we're gonna do is grab this right here. You know, we're gonna actually push the boat backwards. Right on the top of the roof. You can stay right there for right now. So I'm gonna throw this way. About the same depth I was. And we're actually going to back the boat up. 
because I got a bite, I want to go back through the area. So we're backing the boat up to the best of our abilities. So I'm actually going to use the bridge to push backwards. Now look, look at the graph right there. Two to four feet deep. So I'm actually a little bit too deep right here, believe it or not. I'm stuck on the back of this bridge right now. So I'm gonna throw my jig over here right now. Just let it do its thing. I'll try to get off of the bridge. We may have to spin all the way around yeah, I believe we are. That's fine. I mean, we're still trolling, so. <laughs> it seems like the best course of action is the troll i keep seeing these fish at two to four feet deep out here in the open on the 2d so i mean that's how they want it that's how they want it Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the fish in the boat. So I got the trolling motor on one. And I'm only casting out probably five feet. We just trolling around. They don't really seem to be related to the bridge. Well, that one was. Better fish, number nine. Make a bunch of noise now. 